Oh my god. Take it easy, take it easy. What's going on guys? My name is Alex Wittick and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm super excited to bring you guys today's content because we are going to be building our own custom car parts. Guys, if you're not subscribed, make sure you guys subscribe. And if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you throw it a like. All right, let's get started. We got the man, the myth, the legend, John Carl. It's going down to the mailbox. He ordered some car parts, I believe. So let's see what he's got and then let's get started on our day. Ah, uh, the good old TDI. She's outside. That means we're going to be pulling the TT into the garage and we won't have to work out in the sun. It's about 90 degrees today with 85% humidity, so it is a hot one. This man's got the package. I wonder what he's got. Comment down below what you guys think he got and then we'll find out. Guys, I've been bamboozled. What he got is some sunglasses. I would show you the full box. Whoa, whoa, whoa. But that'd be free advertising. We can't be doing that. I thought it was car parts, but he got some sick new shades. But let's go dig into the TT. I'm so excited to make custom car parts today, so hope you guys are excited as well. I'm testing out his sunglasses right now, and I feel like a new man. Throw it down in the comments what you guys think of these sunglasses. I'm thinking about maybe purchasing a pair of my own, or if a company wants to sponsor a channel. And guys, we're so close to 20K, so let's get even closer to 20K. Let's get working on the TT. Take it easy, take it easy. <laughs> Man's looking good in the glasses. Oh, he might have swindled me into getting another pair of sunglasses, but you know what? I'm gonna have to wait till I get a little sponsorship. I'm probably not gonna go ahead and buy a for y'all pair of glasses. I've got a box from, you know, the good old right there. A little hint. That's gonna be a future video for this week. ECS sent me some parts, and I'm really excited because we're gonna get the TT driving right. But uh, first, we gotta fix a few things, so let's pull it into the garage. This car moves now. I got it started over the past few days. I've cleaned it up a little bit, so. This thing's kind of driving, but we got to fix some stuff. So let's pull it in. Look what I'm dealing with. This car is so close to the Mark 6. Let's pull this thing out. We made it. Little pit stop before I pull the TT into the garage. I've got my two babies together. Man, they are so freaking nice. I'm so excited to actually work on this car, get it driving again, because there's a few things that's holding us back from actually driving this thing down the road. One of them being registration, but that's not even the biggest issue right now. And then you've got the TDI, which I daily. I used to daily the Mark VI, but lately I've been dailying the Mark V. Perfect daily, right? What do you guys think? Perfect daily? If you really like today's video, make sure you throw it a like. We're trying to hit 500 likes. It really helps out the channel. And let's pull a TT into the garage. Slight stall in productivity. If I have some seeds in my teeth, it's because of this. Karen made some chicken salad. I went and made myself a big old bowl with some lettuce. So uh, before we fully rip into the TT and we take this thing apart, I want to give a huge Instagram shout out to Dylan Wag 12 I've been doing this new thing where I shout out your Instagram, if you comment your Instagram down below and some reason why you watch my YouTube channel and whichever comment I like the most and hits me to the heart the most, I give an Instagram shout out to that person. Dylan basically said, as long as I'm posting, he's watching. I thought that was super cool. And uh, yeah, so if you guys want the chance to win, comment your Instagram and comment down below why you watch the YouTube videos. So we have a broken Audi TT. I know it pulled into the garage, but there's a few things you gotta fix in this thing today. And right here we have my really cheap eBay welder. Literally no argon. So what I'm gonna be making today only requires a little bit of welding and I'm hoping that I have enough argon so I don't have to run out and get some more because no place is open today. It's late on a Saturday afternoon. Way under this side is the dog bone mount. I got this car with the dog bone mount completely broken. I tried fixing it, fixing it with some washers and stuff real stupid. And it finally snapped this time from all the torque. It's paper thin, so I figured we'll make one, we'll make some connection, and we'll make this happen. Pig storm coming. The Mark 6 is covered in dust. So before the rain really comes down, let's get all the tools out of the tilted TDI. I got the exhaust covered up, and I've also got the rain cowl in. That rain cowl hasn't been in this car probably in like a year and a half, so to see it in there, it's kind of a magical moment, but let's get this all out of the car before this rain kills me. Right, like it won't kill me, but like, you know, I'm like a little bit, I'm like the Wicked wick Witch of the West. I'm not trying to melt right now, you know? Close the door from the inside because of all the soot. My hands. Oh, never mind. I know my license plate is sick. All right, 
right, so now that we got the TT up in the air, we gotta put something underneath the front wheel and then I'll keep the jack there, I'll let it down a little bit so whatever's underneath the front wheel will actually be supporting the vehicle. No need for jack stands on this one. I've had this dog going mount out multiple times without even like really lifting the car off the ground, so I'm gonna actually do this right. So let's get underneath the car. All right, so we got something underneath the wheel. I've got the other wheel chalked on the other side. So let's hop underneath the car and remove this dog going mount, hopefully for the last time. We might get a solid one actually made, but for now, this is gonna work. You guys might not be able to figure out exactly what's going on here, but that's the mount that's supposed to attach to the dog bone from the transmission. And uh, I just loosened it up, but it's supposed to be bent down it all together and it's shaved paper thin because this car was static and the transmission underneath is all shaved down as well. Oh my God. Some of you guys who are new subscribers or if you've been subscribed and you didn't watch any of the TT videos, I talked about this car was a crazy static car in its previous life. One of the previous owners was really crazy and went crazy static. And uh, we're about to fix this transmission mount, dog bone mount, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to make my own little attachment piece. So let's rip that out and let's start on it. I just want to throw it out there, guys. I hope you're having a good day. I hope the video is making your day better. And uh, I hope everything goes well from here on out throughout your day. Let's get that mount out. So I went inside and I cleaned it up. I kind of degreased it with some uh, degreaser soap and stuff like that, kind of like a little wash table. But um, I don't have any degreaser in the garage, so that's what I did. We're gonna use some of this metal. I'm gonna reuse this piece, even though it's all bent out of place. That's what the vise is for and some heat. We're gonna twist it back into place, fold these ears up, you guys are gonna love this one. Okay, so I got the mount inside the vise. I'm gonna apply heat, I'm gonna twist it this way because as you guys can see, it's slanted super hard this way from all the impact. And then this ear that is bent all the way down, this thing is in shambles, but whatever. I'm gonna apply heat to that and bend it up because if I was just to go to bend it, I would weaken the metal, but if I add heat, it's gonna be all right. We're really gonna make this super structural. We're gonna throw some sick welds on here, so. Let's get to it. I'm excited. I hope you guys are as well. And if you're enjoying the video so far, please throw it a like. Good enough. It's smoking. This thing looks horrible. But as you guys can see, there's a big chunk listed from the top. But we're going to replace that. We've got this mild steel right here. We've already got this whole section cleaned out. This is 16 gauge. I'm going to double it up, I think. I might double it up. Add some virginity right back into there and some strength. So. Got to hit the grinder and uh, let's get to it. If you guys are enjoying today's video so far, make sure you guys comment down below, hashtag car. It really helps out the channel. For every single person that comments that down below, I will super like your comment. It means so much to me that you guys are helping out the channel and every single comment really supports the channel. So hashtag car as seen on the screen. And let's get back to today's video. We've got all the paint removed from here. So this is ready to be welded. It's all cleaned up, wire brushed. It's also been hit with a torch. So now it's time for me to cut this metal out. That's going to be one, two, three. I'll hit it with that four inch grinder. And uh, my whole plan here is to weld on the back side of this, really attach the double plate right here, completely run it up, make a whole new plated section right here, and then drill the hole after this is all done. This is no bueno, so let's fix that, make this super strong, and uh, hopefully this works for the time being. I came outside during a little bit of a rain break because I didn't want to grind inside the garage, you know, all the grinding dust didn't want it. So, got this little piece cut here. I also got it all ground down. It's the same width as this. I'm gonna bend it into a U, I'm gonna heat it up, I'm gonna sandwich it, then we're gonna go ahead and weld it to that and we're gonna make a whole new face plate. So I'm really excited for this. Let's get it back in the garage, let's get it all welded up and let's get this thing looking right. It's got some pretty cool color to it. If you guys are asking why I folded it over, I think it's gonna be a little more structural and it's gonna be easier for me to work with. And uh, I won't have to weld it as much, but it looks pretty cool. So it's welding time. I know it's kind of funny with this helmet on. We are almost out of gas. We've got maybe about three inches worth of TIG beads gas left and we have to do about that much. So just to play it safe, I'm gonna do intermittent welds and uh, this thing's gonna come out fine, but we need to go get more gas this week and this is gonna work out good. So wish me luck and let's send it. So I just welded up those two corners. I've got a really low argon flow right now, but it is covering and the weld is looking good. So I'm happy with that. Now I'm gonna go ahead, sandwich these two pieces together. We're gonna throw some beads on each side. We're gonna throw it on the car. Let's get to it. Okay, this is really coming together. I'm super excited about this. It's looking so good. I've got the two pieces sandwiched together right now. I'm about to weld up the one side, do two intermittent welds, then flip it and do the same and then weld the back. But I'm gonna show you guys, this thing is looking awesome right there. That's the base metal I'll be welding it to. It's right here. 
to this. I hope you guys are liking this. I'm really excited for this. And then we're gonna drill the hole and throw it back on the car, but let's weld it before we start getting it back into the car. Well guys, as it turns out, we had enough welding gas. This went together really well. I got to weld the whole thing all the way around, no hiccups, had enough gas, and uh, have a little leftover for who knows what. So hopefully you guys are enjoying the video so far, and uh, I just love tape welding. I hope you guys enjoy watching as well. So now that all the welding is done, this thing looks pretty cool to be honest with you, and it looks really structural. I know what you're saying. That doesn't look OE, but you know what? This is stronger than OE. Look where OE left us. So let's drill a hole in this thing and get this mounted back into the car. Wait, you know what I just noticed? Guys, we're not at the 500 like hole. If you didn't already like the video, make sure you throw it a like right now, pause the video, like the video, and let's continue on. Woo! Guys, and just like that, the bolt drops in. I'm super soaked on this. It's literally gonna be holding so much stronger and like it's that little bit of security that we have now. But it's time for me to heat this up and then paint it because then we're gonna throw it back in the car. I wanna do this with some daylight. So little trick tip for you guys, heat up the metal, throw a little paint on there, give it some distance while the paint burns off. And uh, yeah, just be safe. Don't breathe in the burning off paint. It's not good for your health obviously, and um, yeah, then we're gonna throw it back in the car. I built myself a nice little hanging hook. I could be my own painting booth, or I can hold it up from somewhere, probably gonna hang it up, and we're gonna get this thing nice and painted, but can't forget the heat step, so let's go ahead, heat this up with the torch, then paint it. All right, someone's got a comment down below, one with nature, first wanna do it, you're an OG. I mean, this is seriously up in the trees, so let's heat this up, and once this is heated up, let's hit it with some paint. Hit your can, a good little shake. Hit that baby. Wow, this can is, it's my only can of spray paint, boys. We're gonna have to make do. I got paint all over my hands. That can is garbage. You hate to hear it. Hit it with a little more of the torch action. Like I said, this is temporary, so the paint coverage is sufficient. Then we're gonna leave it for about a minute and we're gonna bring it inside. All right, let's check out that paint. Junk. Ooh, okay. I mean, the background plus the matte color to this does wonders, boys and girls. It's not this big guy is out. It is time to marry these two together. It's time, boys. It's time. Let's do this. <sighs> Didn't use the impact this time, boys. I used the good old 19 inch, and she's tight. This is some static boy type stuff right here. Plated it. It's extra thick. We got to throw it on. So I'm going to get underneath there and... I'm still here. It's gonna go in though. Well, after getting in there, wrestling the thing for a little bit, she is all mounted in, so let's check it out. And let's drop this car on the ground. <laughs> Nothing too special, but looking at it, you know that that thing is solid. It's underneath the car. It's all mounted up. Nothing's to spec. I never do anything to spec unless it's like inside the motor. Everything's tight, so let's drop this thing off of this. I can't wait to see this thing on the ground. It's gonna be a magical moment. Well guys, just like that, today's video is over. I am freaking exhausted, but the TT is back on the ground. That is all that matters. I got a bit of a mess to clean up behind me, but we'll get that all situated. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and if you did, please throw the video a like. It helps out so much, and I really appreciate you guys. The only one put you down. Your builds are awesome. You guys are unique, and uh, you guys are killing it. Comment down below what kind of cars you guys are working on. I love to see those comments, and uh, just stay excited for the content we got coming up. And uh, guys, don't forget, we're gonna be doing that 20,000 subscriber giveaway, so make sure you guys are subscribed, your post notification bell's on, you follow my Instagram, at tilted underscore TDI, and uh, you just stay excited for more content. So, just like that, guys, it's over. Peace, I hope you have a great day, and remember, you are unique, and your build is awesome.